Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we fought Jasper, aka the chocolate milk person, who is now a very fiery ghost. Looks like we're gonna have to fight everybody who's been killed by Walter Sullivan. We fought them, we pinned them to the ground, they're currently making gurgling noises. And uh, we also met the young Walter Sullivan somewhere, found a weird sort of mining operation place found this pickaxe of despair which according to the description is an ordinary pickaxe the pickaxe of despair is ordinary Mo i guess most pickaxes are just of despair it's pretty average uh, and we also found this weird medallion thing crystal medallion disturbing emblem carved into it it's about 10 inches in diameter i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be put into the mother stone here yeah, look at that circular indentation up there. That looks like this is supposed to go in there. Please work. I can't use this here. Shit. That really looks like it's supposed to go there. It looks like just the right size. Well, okay. The other one doesn't have any indentation. There's another rock on this side. Yeah, definitely nothing to do with it there. Okay. Oops, sorry. Well, that means we are going to head down this pathway, because I've explored everywhere else here. Now that we've returned the second time, things have changed. I've explored all of this except this pathway. Haven't explored it since I came back here. Oh yeah, and let's not forget that we found a chain for Eileen. I'm really excited to see them use that. Also, I've pretty much never used this pickaxe. I've used it like barely, so I'm not comfortable with it. I'm also curious how it's going to do and most battles? It's gonna be pretty bad against flies. I think, just because it's real slow. It's so slow. It's so slow that I couldn't even get to this before it got up again. Oh, whoa, cool! Instead of the stomp, when you're using the pickaxe, you actually, like, smash them with the pickaxe instead of your foot. That's neat. I wonder if it does more damage than a normal stomp. I could actually use the nutrition drink. I'm gonna drink that. Yeah, it didn't even bring me to full. Whoa! Holy shit, I think they have a chainsaw! <laughs> and a gun, I think. Uh, where are you going? Ah. Sorry. Ah. I hit them. Where are you go- are you What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, where are they? Walter? Oh! They do attack. Weird. Their pathfinding was like all messed up. Uh. <laughs> that works. Stop going around me in a circle. I can't hit you. There we go. Yeah. That's not the one I wanted to hit. Oh, come on. Oh, now you run. Are you afraid? Their AI is real weird. Walter? Oh! Oh, we're doing that now, huh? I'm sorry, I had to use it. I had to use it, because I couldn't get out of it otherwise. Alright, it's gun time. What the fucking, fucking view, my god. View is not working in my favor here. Ooh. 
Dead or <laughs> they're getting surprised because I'm pushing, uh, pushing the body into them. I'm sorry, I'll stop pushing it. That was a weird fight, partially because I was just experimenting with a pickaxe, but also weird AI and terrible camera views for this fight, especially mixed with our AI who likes to circle around you. Took a lot of damage there, but whatever. I've got like, I don't know, six nutrition drinks plus at least one ampule saved up at home. Oh, hey, read this, Eileen. Here goes. October 13th. I finally got outside. John is still stuck in that round cell. I hope I read well tomorrow. Yeah, that round cell. If you remember the thing that I read from last time, Joseph, the uh, journalist who used to be in our apartment, talked about a huge concrete round structure, which has been described as the cell, where people go if they don't read well. Wait, 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 what? Silver bullets? Are we going to be fighting werewolves? Special bullets effective against ghosts. Small diameter, best used with quote-unquote pistol. Best used with pistol. Is the implication there that you can use them with something else? What else could I use pistol bullets with? Actually, no, they don't say pistol bullets. I just say silver bullets. Anyway. Is it just one? Is that just one bullet? How do I load it? Like normally if I want to reload the gun, I select it and then I like try to use it again after it's equipped and that reloads it. I don't think there's a way to unload it. Oh, I can just use a bullet and it'll put it in the gun. And yeah, that's just one round. Wow, that's... Okay, I'm definitely going to save that. For special occasions. Too bad it takes up a whole inventory slot. That makes me worry that we're about to need it, like, right here. Hmm. Another holy flame. Oh yeah, and there's a well here too. Also too dark to see. I'm definitely missing something. I definitely missed an item somewhere that would allow me to see into the wells. I'm like 99% sure of it. Let's go ahead and drink that. And there's something to read over here too. Here goes. October 17th. The important lady told me my mother was asleep in Ashfield. I have a mother too. I'm so happy. I want to see my mother. Where is Ashfield anyway? The important lady? I don't know who that would be. Oh, there's a couple more over here too. Here goes. October 14th. I did a good job reading today. I was so happy, but the 21 sacraments for the descent of the Holy Mother was hard. Here goes. October 16th. Some important people came today. One of them, da, it's cut off. I can't read anymore. Mm -hmm. Da, Dahlia? I bet it was Dahlia. That's probably the important lady. Fucking Dahlia. Do they ever just fuck off and die? Here goes. October 3rd. I played with Bob again. I went even further this time. 
Uh, the writing fades out after that. I went even further this time. I don't like that. That's not a good sentence. <sighs> uh, anyway, yeah. Um, so I've already had for a while the feeling that I've missed a light source. So I just looked up a walkthrough and sure enough, apparently there's a light source at the very beginning of this place. So absolutely, I've been missing something. Right at the graveyard, which is where you come into this place, it says go over to the lit area and grab the torch. Is that a torch on the ground? There's something written on the candlestick, holy flame. It's a torch. Take the torch? Wait, it's a torch. What? The holy flame isn't the torch. The torch is on the ground next to it. Equipable item. The trip, a tip can be lit on fire to light up dark areas. Soak the torch in oil to make it last even longer. Soak it in oil? I don't think I've seen oil anywhere, ever. Huh. Okay, yeah, so you're time limited. Man, that's brutal. And not the time limiting thing, but... What the fuck? Oh. Right, I think the walkthrough mentioned someone pays you a visit. Uh, Walter, I think. <laughs> um, what's brutal though is just how hard that damn thing is to see. I, I guess because it's lit they're expecting you to go over and check it out, but... I, I mean, I didn't. And you don't pick up the thing that you see that's lit. You pick up the tiny little blob down next to it on the ground. It's really small and hard to see. Okay, anyway. Walter, um, if they behave like the last one, the pickaxe is terrible, so... Ah! Gun! 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 Oh, wow. Shit. I figured I would stun them by shooting or by hitting them. Actually, you know what? Fuck them. Who cares? Let's go. I need a medkit really badly. <laughs> oh, wait, does that make my torch go out? Oh, it does. Wait, that's actually super brutal. Um, okay, so you can use it as a weapon, but yeah, if you switch away from it, the light goes out. Makes sense. I wonder if the light would go out if you used it as a weapon though. You know, swinging it around like that? Probably doesn't help things. Nope, nope, nope. I saw that gun pointed at me. Oh my god, I just heard the door. I, I think Walter follows me. I need to kill them then. The person's head is looking this way. Investigate? Yes, you got the doll's head. Yep, we need five parts. One of five. Anyway. Go, go, go. ammo do you have? This might kill me.
No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot me while I'm dying? That's just cruel. Okay, I've made my way back here. I also visited my home. I healed up a little bit, grabbed an extra nutrition drink, dumped some stuff off, and I'm just, I just got rid of my pistol because obviously it was not powerful enough for that incarnation of Walter. I feel like that one's super strong because like the other ones don't follow me through different instances. That one does. Um, so I'm going to go with my revolver. I'm waiting for you. Damn it, I wasted one bullet. Help me stomp him. Come on, chain him. Why do you get hurt just by, like, being near him? Or surprised, or whatever that is. Oh. Stop touching him. Oh. oh, I've got an idea. I'm gonna put him back in their damn grave. Get in your grave. Get back in your casket. Ah, close enough, I guess. Fine. Wait. Walter's still coming. No! I just wasted my revolver ammo. They still come anyway. I just heard the door open behind me. Shit! There's gotta be some way to ditch him. Right? Maybe if I go long enough, go far enough, they won't be able to chase me. Maybe if I go back home? I don't want to leave Eileen here alone, though. Shit. Okay, this is going to be hard. Because there's... Whoa, nice, Eileen. Sounds good. There's some doggies here. They are going to chase me, but I kind of got to run. Nah, oh. they're still coming. Fuck. I heard him. Please don't come here, come on. Okay. They won't come this far. I wonder if they're still gonna be there when I go back though. Like if I go anywhere in there, are they gonna get me? Also, the flame definitely lasts very little time if it's not covered in oil, like pretty much enough for the one room or the one room where you light it plus like one more. I don't know where oil is. Are there like, like are any of these barrels filled with oil? It's never mentioned anything about that. Okay, I've come all the way over here. There's one well here. And here is the place with all the ghosts. God, see, I wish... Actually, I guess this wouldn't have mattered. I wish I had the torch to begin with. This would have been a lot easier in some ways, but it actually wouldn't have helped here because to light the torch, I would need to come here where the holy flame is. And by the time you come here and go back, the ghosts are already there. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to sprint through some ghosts. I'm going to have to leave Eileen behind because I'm not going to have time. Still don't know where the heck oil might be, so not going to worry about it for now.
Get to the person's right leg. Investigate, yes, doll's right leg. Okay. Well, this is an easy one. Yeah, so we've gotten one, one well over here, one well over here. There's one well at the end of here, and just judging by the fact that I need five, and there's one, 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 and this one seems super long. I'm guessing there's probably two along this way. Left leg. Charred and blackened. I guess it's all been burned in the fire at the wish house. By the way, it's interesting, the different Walter Sullivans, they, they behave differently. So there's a Walter Sullivan here. This is the one with the chainsaw? Uh, not here, but the next one. And this one is localized to this place. It behaves like the other one in the sense that if you kill it and come back, it's still alive, but it won't follow you between level transitions. Yeah, this, yeah it's the chainsaw one. Okay, my place is super fucking haunted. There's like that over there. There's b babies crying in my closet. I don't have any more candles, by the way. And, uh... Oh god, there's a new one here, too. There's that on the wall, and now there's the fucking TV. There's not enough candles. I... I thought maybe you were supposed to keep all this under control, but I think you're supposed to feel helpless, because there's just nowhere near enough candles for this. Anyway, um... Oh... Right, I'm gonna need to free up space, actually. For the rest of the body parts. I'll do that right now, but that's not why I came back here, actually. Just a side benefit, I guess. I'll leave the crested medallion behind. No, I guess I'll leave the pickaxe behind. Yeah, that'll be fine. The reason I'm here is because I think I realized where the oil comes from. I just thought about it, I'm like, wait, isn't this oil? You soak the end of the torch in oil. Hell yeah. If you light the torch now, it should burn for a long time. Nice. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. It'd be very easy to miss it, because there's like, you know, you don't need it. If you didn't examine it, and you didn't already sort of know it was there, then it'd be very hard to find. Okay, I came all the way back to the beginning. Uh, beginning in the sense of this is where I started when I first came to this world. I can see the person's right arm. Oh, this is new! A million monkeys! This is just one back from where I was before. As soon as I get that piece, the monkeys appear. Yeah, I'm definitely not fighting these. Way too many. And the final piece. Person's left arm. Let's assemble the doll. And finish it off with the head. There's a staircase going down. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> Assembled a charred doll. And with its last ounce of strength, it rolls itself backwards. The doll has fallen off the wheelchair, but I guess there's nothing else interesting. I, I think that's pretty interesting itself. Well, thank you, friend. I'm sorry you got burned. Now that I've got all this inventory space, I should probably go back, grab some stuff, and save. Okay, I went back and saved and did a couple other things, I think? Don't remember what I did, to be honest. I didn't stay there long, because the place is highly cursed. Literally. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going down the staircase. <laughs>